Okay, this is Psychonauts 2. I'm really enjoying it. I wasn't even planning on making a video about this. I was just playing the game. Got it on Game Pass PC and just, you know, thought I'd try it out. Been enjoying it. And at the beginning, the uh, it, it, the system requirements didn't seem that bad at all. I was pushing 120 frames per second in the early areas of the game. But now I've run into this area. Look at my frame rate in the top left, where it says D3, D12. That's my frames per second. I'm at 45 frames per second in this room. Now I'm playing at 4K, maxed out. But that brought me into the graphics menu where I want to talk to you guys today. Which of these settings does it make sense to turn down? Which ones are gonna gonna massively boost my frame rate with uh, you know a small sacrifice to the image quality? The other thing I want to point out is that on the quality settings, look what it does to the resolution scaling. So as you cycle through the quality settings, notice the resolution scaling never goes to 100%. So this is a disaster. Because if you just set the quality settings to the highest preset, which is very high, the resolution scaling apparently sets itself to 50%. And if you're on a 4K screen like, like me right now, you can see that, OK, my frame rate's good. But this is a disaster. This is a 1080p image. And I can tell it's just 1080p being, being upscaled. I say 1080p, and people argue with me about this. But if you, if you cut the horizontal resolution and the vertical resolution each by 50%, you're cutting 30, 3840 by 2160 down to 1920 by 1080, which is one fourth of the total um, pixels. But that would be cutting each each um, you know dimension in half. Anyway, even if I'm wrong about whether it's one fourth or 50% of the pixels, I think I'm right. It's it's very obvious. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is turning resolution scaling back up if your frame rate can handle it. And now that doesn't mean you need to go all the way, because check this out. So again, you can see my frame rate right now is at 45 frames per second. By the way, I really like that you can actually see the image. The world is still being rendered while you're in this graphics menu. Like watch as I cycle through high, the high, medium, medium, and low presets. You can actually watch it happen in real time. And if you're looking at the top left of my screen, you can see, see the frame rates change, right? So anyway, going from 50% resolution up to 100% resolution gets my frame rate down to 45. But you can turn this down a little bit until you can see it, right? Push it as low as you can until you can actually see things get a little bit fuzzy. Like for me, I can definitely see things are a little bit fuzzier here at 65. I can still, compared to 100%, right? Cycle through them quickly, see if you can see it. For me, around 90, 85 maybe, it's actually still really hard to tell the difference between natives. So that's a place you might be able to get some basically free performance, is turn this down until you can see it happen, until you can see things get a little fuzzy. Then maybe turn it back up one more notch, and you might be able to get some basically indistinguishable performance gain. Uh, turn that back up. Now my plan is to go through all of these settings and, and show you which ones have the biggest impact. But I'm not going to do them in order, because I'm just going to tell you the answer right now. Reflections. Check this out. My frame rate's 45 frames per second. Watch me go down from very high to high. My frame rate is now 72 frames per second. I just went from 45 to 72 by just turning the reflections to high from very high. Now, what impact does that have on the image quality? Like I said, I love the fact that we can see the image behind the graphics setting. As I toggle this, there is a noticeable difference, but it is subtle. Look at the hinges in those doors. Do you see them look a little bit brighter on the very high? So they're a little bit more reflective. So you can definitely see a difference, but is that worth that frame rate difference? Going from very high to high just jumped me all the way up to 72 frames per second. That's a sacrifice I am more than willing to make. Now, I'm, I'm already at a frame rate I'm happy with now. So personally, I'm probably just going to stop here. But I, I do want to point out that reflections from high to medium can jump me all the way to 98 frames per second here, or at least the upper 90s. It's bouncing around a little bit, right? Now, this one's pretty obvious. Look at this does make a big difference to the image. So watch as I toggle that. You can see it in the hinges. Look at the tables down at the bottom. Uh, so there's definitely a big impact to the visual quality. And I'm not going to go down that far. But if you just if you want a lot more frames, it's this reflection setting in this game that does it. Down to low, 
from medium doesn't seem to gain me anything really noticeable in this scene. But the difference between medium, high, and very high is extreme. And for me, I think dropping down to high is more than worth it if you, if you need a few more frames. For me, a, a, good, um, a good possible answer here would be playing at 85 resolution scale and reflections on high. And check it out. I'm now up to almost 100 frames per second, right? And by the way, going to the 85 resolution scale was less noticeable impact to the visuals than going down to medium on reflections, even though they end up in the same 98 frames per second, right? So this is why you want to be, uh, be picky about which settings you use. Now, I'll show you that this really was the bang for your buck place to do it, because anti-aliasing, watch my frame rate in the top left. There is no difference to frame rate in this scene on the different settings, and I think temporal does look the best. D detail distance. It could just be that this scene doesn't have any really far draw detail, but you can actually see a difference in the visual quality, especially here on low, right? As I toggle back and forth, look at the platform he's standing on, right? There is a difference here to the visuals, but there's no difference on my frame rate. It sticks at 45 the whole time, so don't turn it down, right? Textures um, are really only going to be something you'd want to play with if you need to gain more VRAM. I only have, I'm still under five gigabytes VRAM allocated. Look at the green memory setting up in my top left. That's under five gigabytes, and I'm playing the game maxed out at 4K right now. Uh, so I don't think most people have to turn down textures in this game. Now, lighting, I think you can get a little bit of frame rate difference here. So from very high to high, I gained like three frames per second. Dropping to medium, now I'm up to 51 frames per second from 45, right? Uh, Going down to low, I get one or two more. So it's not a huge amount, right, compared to what we saw from the reflections. So it might not be the place to gain uh, frames back. Shadows, very high to high. I'm not seeing a difference in frame rate. Down to medium. I'm not seeing a difference in frame rate. Down to low. Not seeing a difference in frame rate. So see, shadows basically do nothing to the frame rate, at least in this scene. Ambient occlusion. As I cycle it down, notice, look, I'm still locked at 45 frames per second. You can see a visual difference in some of the shadows, right? Look at the difference between low and medium in the visuals as I toggle back and forth. You can see it, but look at my frame rate counter. It's at 46, no matter which one I'm at. Now 47, 46, right? It's bouncing around, but there's no noticeable difference there. Now, was that because my shadows I had accidentally left on low? Let me see here. No, we're still not seeing a difference. I mean, it's really about the same. We're staying in the mid-40s. So not worth it. But again, these reflections, boom, down one notch, and I jump into the 70s. Huge, right? And the post-processing, very high down to high, still at 45, down to medium. I'm still at 45, down to low. I'm still at 45. But look at, like, look at the lights, um, right? That, that little like group of five lights there. You can see a difference in the lighting, but the frame rate's not changing, at least on my GPU in this scene. So it seems like reflections and resolution scaling are the only hugely impactful settings for me. And then the lighting is like a little bit, right? So I'm going to go down to high reflections. Might even consider, if I wanted to, going down to like 90 or so on the resolution scale. And now I'm around like. 90-ish frames per second, right? 89 frames per second. And compared to where I started, it's looking good. Uh, looking almost the same and feels so much better to play. Hopefully you found this useful and I hope that you have an excellent day.